Hi friends, my name is Hortense and I am a Programs Coordinator at the Children's Museum Houston. Today's activity is brought to you by the Wortham Foundation, City of Houston, and the Houston Arts Alliance. Today's activity is based on the Native American traditions of using items found in nature to make natural dyes. They use these natural dyes in their weaving and textiles, creating beautiful masterpieces. Let's see what we'll be needing for today's activity. Beets, yellow onion, red cabbage, ground turmeric, black beans, coffee grounds, salt, measuring cup, vinegar, water, both hot and cold, spoon, eyedropper, fabric or yarn, whichever you're going to dye, gloves, and a large pot. First, you will need to soak the beans overnight, then drain out the beans and use the black water for the blue dye. Parents, this is where you take over for a little bit. You will need to soak your fabric in a fixative bath which will help the dye stick to the fabric. Basically, it's either half a cup of salt to eight cups of water if you're using it for berries, berries or fruits, or one part vinegar to four parts of water if you're using plants or vegetable base. I'm going to be using the vinegar mixture since I'm using more vegetables. Then you bring this mixture and fabric to a boil and then simmer for about an hour. While your fabrics are simmering, parents, you will need to chop up the red cabbage, beets, and yellow onions and boil each in a separate pot for about an hour. For the turmeric and the coffee, you will use two to three tablespoons of each for every two cups of water and bring that to a boil and simmer for an hour as well. Don't forget to stir each pot periodically. Once the fabric mixture has boiled for an hour and has cooled down, wring out any excess water. Now your fabric is ready for dyeing. You can then transfer the lukewarm dyes to plastic containers for safety and for easy dyeing process. For beets, you will have a pink solution. For black beans, it will be blue. For red cabbage, it will be purple. For ground turmeric, it will be orange. For yellow onion, it's going to be yellow. For coffee grounds, it will be brown. Now it's time to get creative. My little friends, this is where you take over. But first, make sure to put on some gloves so we don't dye our hands. Okay friends, you would take your fabric and place it completely in the desired color dye, or you can get an eyedropper and drop the colors to make your own design. Remember, your fabric will dry lighter than when it is wet. I let my fabric sit overnight so they could really capture the dye color. Once you're happy with the shade of color and design, you will rinse with cold water, wring it out, and let it air dry. And as it dries, this is the end result, friends. And there you have it, friends, your naturally dyed fabric. Feel free to explore the internet for other items to create other colored dyes and the beautiful artistry by Native Americans past and present. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Thank you for spending your time with me and doing a long time practice tradition. From my Children's Museum Houston family to yours, Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.